What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we're going to be going over what is happening with Jasmine Coins price is a beautiful buy signal just flash that I think you should be aware of. So with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into today's video. So looking at Jasmine Coin here what you can see is that we just got a beautiful flash of the DCA plus feature on HG Algo. Now you guys know HG Algo is the indicator that my company designed that can be used for just about any cryptos that are on trading view. Of course you can check it out down in the description below and get 20% off in the month of February but at the end of the day we just got a beautiful flash here on the hourly charts now the hourly charts isn't a nor the hourly chart isn't one that I personally would use say for all of my major buying or my huge buying but even in my patreon or even in my personal portfolios I use the hourly charts to start my dollar cost average because what you can see here is that generally speaking when the DCA plus feature does flash which means that you should DCA into that position it's going to show you the times in which we're going to begin to see the bottoming out structure form we're going to begin to start to see the like the slowdown of this beautiful move to the downside that needs to happen in order to allow the bulls to reset to let them then start pushing the price back upwards and let's just look at a little bit of history so what we can see is that you know last week at the end of last week we got our first dca plus feature flashing here the second one flashing here then of course we got the bottoming out structure both of those then going positive so yes this first flash did go negative for a little while again it's a dca feature it's not telling you a buy sell buy sell it's simply just a dca feature when to start DCAing into the position. And what you can see here is that, yes, although it did go negative for a bit, it started to call where this bottom was then forming, and then boom, we get the move to the upside. And you can look at history, and that's just generally what happens. The last time we got the DCA plus feature before that was on the 17th, right at the bottom of this move, before we made this beautiful move to the upside. I mean, this right here alone was a, I mean, a ridiculously good move. This is a 42% move to the upside there. Let's go a little bit further back. You can see here, again, when was the last time that we got it? Right around the bottom of this move. After that, putting in some highs of roughly you know 20 percent to the upside going back here where do we start this is another great example looking here we get these pulls to the downside we get this macro low we get a little run but it does go negative get this macro low we get a little run it goes negative and then again boom one here boom one here four over extensions four beautiful times to be buying before we eventually do make that huge run to the upside so what you can see here is that this dca plus feature is just telling you when the start of the bottom should be happening and when you should start to look to start getting in especially on the hourly charts and considering everything that we are seeing from a more structural perspective, I do believe that that is applicable. And it does seem to me as if you are looking to start slowly building into that position or slowly looking to average cost in a little bit more, this would be a great time to start looking to build and slowly add into that position. Not to say that it can't go negative, not to say that it can't go to 0 0.013. All of those things are possible, but this will prove, at least in my opinion, to be a fantastic buying opportunity in the long term when we do inevitably see Jasmine make another run to the upside. Now, who knows? Maybe it just continues to go straight down and we get even better buying opportunities on the four hours or on the dailies but that doesn't matter because we want to buy some of the best times and we've historically seen HD algo give us some of the best times being here now from a structural perspective also again remember you can get HD algo for 20 percent off down below but from a structural perspective we can see that jasmine's also looking pretty damn strong there is no guarantee of course that this is going to break to the upside right it can break to the downside that's possible because we've seen this happen before but at the end of the day we still do have a lot of support below us what you can see here is that the 618 to 786 fibonacci Nachi zone between of course 0 0.013 and 0 0.014 is still sitting directly below us at this point historically speaking this is going to be an amazing zone to give us some support and at least try to make a move to the upside we generally won't just go straight through that level that's not usually what happens maybe we'll go a little bit sideways maybe a little bit of a push then a pull to the downside that has happened before but it's never usually just straight down through it okay could happen but not usually what happens so because of course this level is right here it also seems to me as if with this leaning or of course descending um line for your resistance there's a strong chance that jasmine tries to put in some type of macro high or low where that may be you never really know maybe it's somewhere right here maybe it's you know down here maybe it's up here and then it seems as if we will get some type of triangular structure which is rather normal right they call these bullish pennants they call them bullish flags whatever you want to call it but it seems as if jasmine is going to try to put in some type of macro high or low and look for one more bounce to the upside and when that does happen that will give us that pennant that we're looking for which does have a higher percentage chance of getting a break to the upside but not a guaranteed percentage chance to the upside right maybe like 70 percent chance to the upside that we do get the breakout and continuation so not to say again that this absolutely will happen but it is still a a card that is well with on the table and one that i am personally thinking is you know very possible 
possible happening. Like I said before, we could easily get this pull to the downside. That's also possible. It's just the least likely thing right now. Of the two, that's about a 30 to 40% chance. We're looking at a 60, 70% chance of Jasmine looking for the higher low and looking for a continuation, but it all depends on a couple of factors. So with that in mind, because of what we are seeing structurally, because of what we're seeing from our Fibonacci's, the amount of support that we still have below us, and the fact that our hourly DCA plus signal is going off, I do believe that Jasmine definitely could find some support and look for at least a bounce, uh, a bounce back towards the upside. So I do think that this could be a decent time to start slowly adding to that position. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update because yesterday I told you all that we should probably wait for a bit of a pullback before DCAing into this position. And now we are seeing the pullback and now we're getting some signals that it could be a good time to get in. So with that said, of course, I will continue to update you guys on Jasmine as long as you guys are enjoying it and you want to see it. If you guys do want to again use HD, I'll go use the link down in the description below. There's also a video down there explaining what it is and how it works. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you want to see more videos like this, just go down there and press subscribe so you get notified when the next one comes out. But with that in mind, of course, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.